guys, welcome to a new video. So like I said in the previous video, I'm going to uh, review the plugin or the sound library uh, called Keyscape. Keyscape? Yeah, I'll just show some sound and if it's gonna be um, suitable for um, lo-fi, lo-fi hip-hop. Well, I already know the answer, but <laughs> let's find out. So this is Keyscape. So on the left side here, you can see all the uh, sort of genres of pianos. I already checked it out yesterday and I can tell you there are really, really good sounds in here. Um, let's just go through some of them. I already know that I'm gonna be using an electric piano, just, but I just wanna show some sound. So this is the, this is, I don't know, I don't know what sound it is. This is the LA Custom C7. <laughs> piano. Just the detail in the sounds is like a little noise when you press the pedal I think that's it. Like the pedal goes like to look. Please don't hate on my, my piano skills because I have none. <laughs> like zero. If you give me a keyboard I can play a, a minor chord, maybe a minor seven, that's it. <laughs> all I, that's all I know so. Yeah, very good sound. Let's go to the next one. I don't really. Oh, yeah, I was expecting like really normal sounds, like just uh, just the normal pianos, but they really change it up with like weird effects on it and stuff. Classic roads. <laughs> I'm totally not an expert when it comes to stuff like this. Like, I don't know shit basically about keys and, and all that stuff. I just know if I like a sound. <laughs> and I really like these sounds. Like, these are. It's hard to explain, but these sounds all have like texture and, and like a bottom end. They don't sound thin and cheesy and cheap, they just sound good. Oh, they have a lo fi button. Oh my god, final noise. Let's get it. Okay. Warm metal noise. Yeah, I already looked at this yesterday. Like this sound, I was playing with it. I'm gonna use this sound for today.
So right now I still, I still have the drums uh, completely quantized and I'm going to show you what I usually, usually do. It doesn't sound too bad to be honest, but yeah, I'm just going to show you what I usually do. I have a feeling that it's not going to work, oh, sorry, that it's not going to work for this one. But so what I usually do is turn the snares, like I select them all, like you just saw, and then turn them a bit earlier, just an early, early swing. when you shift the snare forwards a little bit the, the, the kick automatically sounds a bit delayed so I don't usually fuck around with the kick that much sometimes I do but and if I listen to this especially these ones like on the three it's like but uh, maybe I could give some swing of but now you see how the notes and the kicks also swing up. And yeah, I explained this in a previous video as well, but what I 90% of the time do is go into velocity mode for the percussion sounds or hi-hats, shakers. So you can like, like for example, like this, the difference between this and this. satisfied I'm lazy and just bump quantities and choose my own swing. There are pros and cons when you create your own swing just by using the program. It's all like set in stone and you can just use the same settings to create the same swing for the for other sounds. And if that's what if that's the sound what you're going for like it's high and if you if you if you use your own swing you have to well I have to <laughs> maybe someone has better timing than me probably there are some people <laughs> But uh, yeah, then you have to manually um, rearrange the hi-hats to match the initial swing you used. Does that make sense?
we'll see. <laughs> we're probably, <clears throat> when I listen back to this video, probably in a few days, I'll be like, wow, there's a million things to approve. But for right now, I'm just leaving it at this. Uh, yeah, it is interesting where these sounds uh, push me. It just pushes me towards an all different kind of uh, vibe of music. Like normally, I tend to make beats that are really simple, like really simple sounds, not a lot of reverb in it, just simple beats in general. This is also pretty simple, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's not that complica complicated, this beat, but still, it sounds different than what I normally use, um, or than what I normally make. But if I like it, I don't know. So we will see. I mean, the sounds are amazing. Like These gave are really big sounds. I didn't expect it to, to, to be this weird. Like, like there are really uh, abstract sounds in this kit. Like, I like it. I really enjoy, yeah, I really enjoy it. I'm, I'm glad about it and with that, I can show you guys. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you, uh, if, you, if you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. I'll go with me. Uh, feedback's always welcome. Comment below what you think about it. Like the previous comments on the previous video was really nice. I was really happy to see all those comments. Really, uh, yeah, made me happy and just it really helps me and I, I appreciate that. So yeah, thank you guys for all the comments and likes and views. Really appreciate it and I hope I'm gonna keep making these videos for a while. That's it. See you in the next video.